Hello everyone, welcome to Avipedia. This is Abhishek Sharma. Now in today's uh, basic concept series, we will be studying about inequality and the two basic uh, curves that we use for understanding that inequality are Lorentz curve and Kuznets curve developed by Simon Kuznets. Now this uh, Lorentz curve and Kuznets curve are uh, basic concepts which are talked about in uh, NCRT also. See as it is the uh, Lorentz curve is helping in determining the inequality in distribution of wealth within the society. So how it helps us see within uh, Lorentz curve, let's understand what are the basics within this. So this is how you develop this curve, all right. This line right here, the straight line is called as the line of equality, which is at a 45 degree angle with the base, okay. And this curve essentially is the Lorentz curve and the area which is shaded is to be used while calculating something called Gini coefficient, okay, which is the scale of inequality which is used in uh, Lorentz curve. Now within the scale of inequality, you calculate the scale as equal to area of Lorentz curve divided by area of triangle ABC. So this is the area of Lorentz curve, that is the shaded portion and this is the area of triangle ABC. So they provide you the Gini coefficient. Anytime this Gini coefficient comes out to be zero, that means the curve is on the line itself. That is a situation of perfect equality in the society. And in case this comes out to be one, that is a situation of perfect inequality because now the curve will be throughout this triangle. So in UPSC, this statement has already come that if Gini coefficient is equal to one, what will be the situation? So it is actually perfect inequality and if it is zero, it is perfect equality. So that's how Lorentz curve talks about the system. Now in terms of inequality, Kuznet curves discusses it in a different manner. Kuznet curves is talking about how will the inequality change with changes in the per capita income levels within the society. Now it has compared three kinds of societies. One are pre-industrial societies. So they are dominated by agriculture. Then there are industrial societies in which industry will be the dominating phase. And then there are post-industrial societies which are generally service-led, okay. So these kind of three societies it has talked about. And as the per capita incomes increase, people will be moving from pre-industrial to industrial to post-industrial. The inequality will first rise while you are moving towards the industrial societies and then fall as you go on to post-industrial societies and increasing per capita income levels. This is how the Kuznet curves talk about the your per capita incomes and their changes in terms of inequality. Now, in India if we apply this essentially, so in India Gini coefficient right now in 2011 it was at 0 0.36 and right now 2019 as per World Bank calculation, it is 0 0.347. So inequality in India is decreasing, but at a very less rate. This is the issue. So in Kuznets curve, we are right now, we skipped this industrial phase. This is what we generally talk about. And most of the people are transitioning right from here to here in the post-industrial at the society level. But the per capita income in India, when we talk about it, it's $16.55 or something. But this per capita incomes are earned more by the people which are working in the services sector and less by the people which are working here. So the income distribution is such that in India, those working in secondary and tertiary sector enjoy 85% of GDP contribution and those working in the primary sector are enjoying 15% towards the GDP contribution as we already know from the structure of the economy. But then concern is 47.5% of the population is working here. So almost 50% is working here. Yeah. And another 50% or you can pin it down to 52.5% population is working in secondary and tertiary sectors. So because of this, it creates a trouble and it creates a lot of inequality where half of the population is generating only 15% of the GDP and another half is generating 85%. So accordingly their income opportunities will also be diminished when they are in primary sector. 
and since we missed out on industries, so this transition for these people who are trapped in the agriculture sector becomes difficult. So therefore, the income inequality is decreasing at a lesser pace as noted by the Lorentz curve, right? So I hope you can now use both these concepts in both your prelims and mains. The Kuznet curve, the question in terms of pre will be very simple. What does it trace? So it is tracing inequality against per capita income. Similarly, what does this trace? The Lorentz curve. So it is tracing the percentage cumulative share of incomes against the percentage households by income distribution. Right? Pre ke liye to itna ki karne ki zaroot hai. Lekin means ke liye aapko in dono ka usage bhi aana chahiye. Right? So thank you so much. Hope you understood the concepts. If you have any concerns, you can write in to me at abhishek at the rate abhimanyu.com. All the best for your preparation. Thank you.